Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly for pricing, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, something old is made new. This is the same Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5167A-001, but it has the latest hacking Patek Philippe 26330 movement inside. So let's start with the basics. This will be familiar. Rose gold, the watch is 40.8 millimeters in diameter, 8.1 millimeters thick, and from lug tip to lug tip, 47.1 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The watch wears well on my wrist of 16 centimeters circumference, as you can see being quite flat, it fits underneath the cuff. Being rose gold, it's a little bit more on the dress side, a little bit more on the formal side of the equation compared to a steel aquanaut, but make no mistake, it's loomed, automatic, and 120 meters water resistant. This is just a little bit more dress oriented than a standard steel 5167A. I can recommend it on the strap for wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference, but if your wrist is any smaller than that, beware, there is a little bit of a flare and a fight to the strap. It doesn't want to pull straight down around a tiny wrist, so 14 centimeters circumference and up. The Aquanaut launched in 1997 as a more stripped down and accessible sports watch from Patek. While the idea may seem quaint, almost naive today, uh, it is still the watch that has a more youthful exuberance to it in the Patek collection with a brown composite strap. I call it rubber, Patek calls it composite. The geosphere cut of the dial is echoed on the molded pattern in the strap, and you can see this is a Patek factory strap, uncut, in brand new condition. This strap can be cut to suit your wrist. We have a double folding clasp. You can see components of the Patek Philippe Calatrava cross inside. Then you close it, and you have a whole Calatrava cross externally. You can see the twin triggers release the clasp. This one actually still has its original packing sticker on it, so it's a very fresh watch. As you can see, the case is in excellent condition. It's a shapely and strong form with a combination of a curved mid-case and sharply angular lugs. The lug hoods are polished. There's a little bit of a transitional bevel on their edge, and then the case flank is longitudinally satinated. The bezel has a little vertical kick. It's somewhat stepped in from the case band to make it look a little bit thinner. Then we have the rounded sloped flank of it, and then the vertically set and finished top, and it pays homage to the Nautilus, the other Patek Philippe sports watch, being a rounded off polygon. You can also appreciate that we have a crown guard structure on the three o'clock side. It is a screw down crown. It is 120 meters water resistant. There's a Calatrava cross logo on the crown. The dial is a brown bronze metallic sunburst, light at the center, dark at the edge. You can see the watch features applique rose gold Arabic numerals, rose gold hands, a white varnished lancet style counterweighted second sand. If you're asking me why I'm so excited about the new caliber 26330, here is why. No longer do you have to play pressure tricks with back turned pressure on the crown. Those back pressure tricks to try to stall the second sand on the non-hacking 324, long gone. Now you get a real hacking seconds function, so you can set this watch precisely to a reference time. And of course, there is also, should you desire it, a quick set system for rapidly cycling the date. The watch includes plenty of luminescence. We'll take a look at that now. You can see both the numerals and the indices outboard of the numerals are loomed. The movement does not look dramatically different than the previous caliber 324. Let me do my best to get the strap out of the way. Here it is. 26330. Automatic winding, 45 hour power reserve. It's a unidirectional winder with ceramic rotor bearings. It beats way at four hertz. It has a gyro max style free sprung balance, which is a Patek invention. It has an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. It is adjusted in six positions, and Patek Philippe guarantees that this watch will run no worse than minus three plus two seconds per day as delivered from the factory, and all of this pivots on 30 joules. It's a combination of machine finishing and hand finishing, as is common in this price point across many brands, but compared to something like Audemars Piguet, the Patek has a larger balance of hand finishing relative to the machine work. This watch is very versatile. It is also exceptionally scarce, as it's only in the last year that Patek has switched over to the new movement in the traditional Aquanaut. Reach out to tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.